Good morning, it's uh, Tuesday 10th of February, it's Budget Eve, I'm Tom Elliott and this is my market report. Well this morning the Australian share market uh, has decided or taken a decidedly weaker tone. Now shares were up in New York last night but of course locally everybody's just a bit nervous about the uh, upcoming federal budget tonight. Will it include a surprise, something the market wasn't expecting? As a result, the ASX 200 index in mid-morning trade down around one-third of 1% 1 or 20 points, as I said, in contrast to share trading uh, last night. Of course, over the past week, there's been a real roller coaster ride for the A dollar. Uh, eight days ago, it hit slightly over $1.10 US, it then fell to $1.05 a few days later when commodity prices went through a short-term collapse. In particular, the price of oil amazingly fell almost 10% in one night last Thursday, which is just unprecedented. Um, the dollar has settled between those two figures, currently 1.078 US dollars, so uh, still trading very near its record highs. And of course, this is in itself one of the reasons our share market just doesn't want to go up, because there's so many Australian companies like the resources sector and so forth that have um, a considerable proportion of their earnings to, denominated in US dollars. And the further the A dollar rises, the uh, worse that looks for the uh, A dollar profit that those companies have to report. Now, all sorts of interesting things happening in the corporate world at the moment. Shares in Redflex Holdings, which is a company that makes red light and speed cameras, probably a company that most of us would think had been better if it was never invented, but in any case, we have to deal with it. Uh, Redflex uh, has had a takeover bid from a group of uh, private equity companies, including Macquarie Bank. Uh, it was originally $2.70, it was recently lifted to $2.75. Shareholders voted on it yesterday and decided at the urging of the company's former uh, managing director and chairman to reject the bid. Now, in the short term, that was a dumb thing to do because the stock is down over 30% at $1.80, so it's 95 cents below the takeover price that was offered. Uh, the big issue is will Macquarie come back with another bid? At the moment, the market doesn't really think so. Um, in similar fashion, Spotless Group yesterday uh, apparently rejected the bid from another private equity company, in this case the US Blackstone Group. It was pitched at $2.50 a share, which was a 25% premium to the $2 mark where the company was already trading. However, the board of Spotless said that they were not going to negotiate with Blackstone. They thought the bid materially undervalued the company and that uh, they would take no further action in the matter. Spotless shares are actually up to $2.32. Uh, many of the company's major institutional shareholders are now starting to contact management and say, hey, go and talk to Blackstone. We would rather they took it over than you guys continue to run it because, to be honest, the company's management has not been able to grow its earnings for the best part of a decade. So we'll have to see what happens there. Um, overall, the, uh, another problem plaguing the share market is uh, something from the 1970s that many people think could resurrect itself. And I speak, of course, of stagflation the combination of a stagnant economy but with rising prices. Now in the US and possibly here in Australia, there's signs that that could be happening. Um, unemployment growth could slow and uh, Federal Reserve in the US and of course the Reserve Bank here are a bit worried about inflation. So just look out for that. The 1970s was a terrible time in many ways um, for the share market. Between 71 and 81, it did absolutely nothing. We wouldn't want to see a repeat of that. And um, finally, for Foster's Group shareholders, uh, you might wake up and look at your share price today and get a bit concerned because it's a dollar lower than what it was yesterday. However, uh, as of midday today, Treasury Wine Estates, ASX code TWE, is trading as a separate entity, so the historic demerger of Foster's beer and wine businesses has now occurred. Treasury shares are trading at around about $3.10. You have to divide that number by three because you've got one Treasury share for us. Yeah, three to three Foster shares. So divide that by three, add it to the Foster share price, that allows you a comparison to where it was yesterday. If you put the two together, to be honest, the overall Foster's group and the value of your shareholdings hasn't changed very much. But if all the takeover talk is to be believed, it won't be long before a move is made on either or both businesses.